From Norwegian fjords to the Arctic Circle, we're joining an international expedition studying an organism that plays a rather complex role in ocean ecosystems. The GOSARS is one of the most advanced research vessels of its kind. For three weeks, it's a home away from home for a diverse team of scientists working on a European research project to study deep sea sponges. In particular, they want to find out what role they might play in recycling the ocean's waste. A remotely operated vehicle, an underwater robot, is used to find and collect sponge specimens from several kilometers down in the ocean deep. We have pretty good knowledge about sponges in shallow waters and their role there, for example, in coral reef ecosystems. But in deep, deep sea, that's more or less unexplored. We have an idea on where we find them, the diversity and so on, but the function is more or less unknown. The work at the study sites continues 24 hours a day. Once the robot has returned, the researchers take great care rushing new specimens to the onboard laboratories. Some of these organisms will be dissected and preserved for later study. Sponges produce valuable chemical compounds that could be used in cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. Most importantly, they might also help in the fight against cancer. In many species, it's already been found that these metabolites have antibacterial, antifungal or anti-cancer properties. But about these species here, we don't know anything yet, so we're interested to study them. Other sponges are kept alive in special aquariums to scrutinize their feeding processes. By filtering seawater through their pores, these primitive animals recycle waste and produce valuable nutrients for other marine organisms. This experiment tells scientists how much bacteria and other contaminants are filtered out by any given sponge species. Ultimately, it's about protecting our oceans by trying to protect a fragile organism that performs an important cleaning function. It actually shows how important sponges are for the entire ocean because um, if you show what they remove from the water um, and then you can also, for example, say that if the sponges themselves are removed, what kind of waste would be accumulating in the ocean because there's no sponge to clean the ocean anymore. Almost immediately, this research expedition discovered several new sponge species. Roughly 8,000 are already known, ranging from a few centimeters to more than a meter long. Most sponges are filter feeders. They wait for bacteria or small, single-celled organisms to float past them. But the exact role they play in keeping the entire marine ecosystem balanced and healthy is still by and large a mystery. Our project is focused on the North Atlantic. It's a big ocean, but in a big scale, it's quite small, right? So even though we put a lot of effort into this work, we are just looking at the tip of the iceberg. So there's a lot of fundamental science to be done. It's costly, it's time consuming, but it has to be done. The oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, and sponges have been living in them for over half a billion years. If scientists gain a better understanding of these fragile creatures, it may help them preserve and protect our seas.